Today I'm going to show you how to fix a low water level in your toilet without any tools. Now, we all use the toilet. Sometimes, if you've got a low water level, it can be a problem flushing. I hope you're not using the toilet, it's broken. Huh? The toilet doesn't flush. Now I was just shaving. So I wanna show you how it's very easy to adjust the water level in there. It's something you may wanna do at your toilets just to check to see are they flushing properly with the right amount of water? Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a sh? For me? Well, it was funny, yes. Disgusting! So I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off and set it out of the way. And that's something you wanna be very careful with because one thing that we see a lot is plumbers, homeowners, whatever, drop the lid. Be very careful with this. Normally, if I'm working on a toilet, I will set it in the tub, I'll set it on the rug on the floor. I want it out of the way, maybe on a countertop. I want it out of the way where I'm not gonna accidentally hit it, break it, drop it, anything at all like that. So first of all, we're looking down inside the toilet. This is the world's largest toilet. Now, this water level, I can see is adjusted low because my float the screw on it is all the way up. But first I'm gonna tell you all the parts of a toilet. First of all, you've got the fill valve. Now the fill valve is what actually controls the water flow. If you push it down, you can hear the water running. What you do when you push it down, that's like it flush. So it's telling the water, hey, we need water to fill up the tank. And it will do so. As you see, we're coming up and we're overflowing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. Over on this side, you've got your overflow tube. You have your fill tube. This is what's gonna let the water down in there and keep your trap full. Down in the bottom, the piece that goes up and down, that's your flapper. And that flapper is connected to your flush valve. We call it a valve because you actuate the valve with the handle, which opens the flapper and lets the water go down into your bowl. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first, just to let it flush. There is enough water there to flush, so it's doing okay but I'm gonna show you how to adjust the level if maybe you don't have enough. Do you have one of those toilets that maybe you have to flush it twice to get the water to actually go down? What I'm gonna show you today is how to do that without any tools. So we flushed it and I'm gonna let the water come back up. Now, I just saw my float come up. So your fill valve actually has the valve on the top, but what's down here is a float that actually comes up and down that actually controls your water level. Now, I'm a little over an inch, maybe an inch and a half from my overflow. So what I'm gonna do, I want to raise that water level, I'm gonna say about an inch. I want it about a half inch below the top of the overflow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reach down in here and actually pull it out from this assembly. Now this is assembly that actually when it comes down, it turns the water on. When it comes up, it turns it off. Now this is a threaded piece down at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna screw it down about an inch, that way it comes up to about half an inch from the overflow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn this. As you see, it's scored on the top so you can use a screwdriver. Now, you may need a screwdriver, but chances are you won't. These are plastic pieces that have been in water. Now, if you've got an old brass one or anything like that, you may need a screwdriver. But I'm gonna screw this down about an inch and I'm looking down here to see how far I've come down. So I want to come back up just a little bit more and then I'm gonna slide it right back over and clip it back together. Now that was really very easy to do. I'm gonna flush it again. I heard that it flushed very well and now we let it come back up. Make sure you hang around to the end. I'm gonna tell you the two parts that normally have to be changed out in a toilet to make it work properly. And these are also things that you can do yourself very easily. So my water level's coming up. It's, it's gone past where it was. Right there it shut off at about, it's probably within about a quarter of an inch from the top. I wanna take it back apart. Move it back up just a little bit, just to give me a little bit more room. Got a good flush again, and it's coming up. So 
The two pieces that normally have to be replaced in the toilet if there's a problem is the fill valve. It's very easy to do and we've made another video about it. And if you were just replacing the fill valve, you'd put it back at the right height, put it back in there, and as you see, you're right where you wanna be. Now one thing to do is always check the height of the old valve. Whenever you pull out an old one and you're putting a new one in, make sure you've got them set at the same height. You turn the angle stop off, you do everything that we're doing, you reach down at the bottom, you disconnect the supply line, you disconnect the nut and pull this out. This whole piece is very easy to replace. The other piece that often needs to be replaced is the flapper. This is also something you can do yourself. To be honest, there's nothing in here you can't replace yourself if you'll just get in and try. Just do it! Just do it! Do it! Just do it! And it's gonna save you money from calling a plumber. Now, that's got my, that's got my water level at about a half inch down, just like I like it. I wanna go ahead and look at the flush and see how it does. Now this did really good. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Now flush. This did exactly the way that it should. This is something that if you look on the inside of the tank, you may have a marking for a water level. If you look on the overflow, you may have a marking there. The toilets are designed to flush at a certain water level. That way it's as efficient as possible when it goes down and flushes. Again, the parts, you've got the fill valve, you've got the flush valve, you've got the fill tube, you've got the handle, and then the chain going down to the flapper. These are really easy to work on. In the next video, we'll show you how to do this with a canister style, which is a little bit different, but the fill valve is the same way. You adjust it to get your water level the way you want it. The good thing about this, this is something you can do and not have to call a plumber. So, if you learned anything today, or if you're a plumber and you do things any different, do me a favor to leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you're a homeowner and you think this is something you can do, do me a favor and video it. Put it over on my subreddit, at Roger Wakefield Post. I'd love to see how it worked out for you. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, helping you save money in the trades. So what that does, that is telling, that's telling the, you want to also know, let's go back to the parts. The other piece that often needs to be, this is something that the, <clears throat> good? Cool. Okay, let me see the GoPro real quick. I'm Roger Wakefield, lead it.